What is up guys and welcome back. So today I have a, another video, but this one isn't the well most positive oriented. I'm going to give my full honest and unbiased Oh wait. I guess it's a little bit biased, but my full and honest opinion of the diecast community and I'm going to point out some things that are wrong. Now, I'm not going to act like I'm innocent of these things. I'm not. But of some of these things at least. However, I just want to point out a couple things. So, the first thing that I want to point out is a lot, and this one actually ties in with a lot of things. It's not just the community that seems to have an issue with this, but it seems to be everywhere. Um, everybody, it seems like half the people here are doing this for their own personal fame. People don't care about the diecast community. They care about getting popular and famous. Perfect example, people ask for shout-outs from everybody. It seems like everybody's oriented on their number of followers that they have. It seems like people's number of followers or subscribers, people think it, it's a symbol of power. Well, newsflash, it's not. The more followers you have doesn't mean you're more powerful. It means that more people hit a flipping button. It doesn't mean shit. At the end of the day... It's not, having the most followers on Instagram isn't essential to life. You can live without Instagram. You can live without social media. Hell, people have done it for millions of years prior to us. The world doesn't revolve around social media. The world doesn't revolve around you. I know, I have an ego. It's more in check than it used to be, but I still have it. No one person is the diecast community. I'm not the diecast community. You're not the diecast community. We are all the diecast community. Every single person plays an important part, but no one person is a bigger piece of the giant puzzle than anyone else. Nobody is bigger than anybody else. Now, I know someone's going to go, oh, but I have more followers than people. Your followers, the number doesn't matter. What should matter to you is the followers themselves because the followers that you have, well, hopefully, are humans. They are people just like you, just like me. Now, one thing that pisses me off a lot is that nobody has respect for anybody else around the community anymore. They care about themselves and that's it. There's no... There is instances where, you know, where people will do a good deed, but it's not like it should be anymore. You, It's very few and far between to see someone do a good deed for someone else. I guess I'm just looking at the negative side of things in the community, which, you know, you can see why I do. I mean, considering that I've been around the community for a very long time, and I've seen this community evolve over time i myself have had to evolve with the community however the one thing that has not changed since i started is my one i guess goal and that's to produce entertaining reviews not to make money i'm not in the community to make money my you making youtube videos is not a business for me it is a hobby it is a side pleasure that i do when i choose to i don't need i i'm trying to be nice here i don't need people to pay me to do youtube i do it on my own free will I don't treat YouTube as a business. That's why I don't do it. Prof That's why I don't call it a profession. A lot of people on YouTube, not just not in the heavy equipment community, but a lot of people in general describe their jobs as working for YouTube, making or making YouTube videos. That's the wrong outlook on life. People will lie and say that they have handicaps and that they have to rely on YouTube to get by. That's just messed up. And I've seen people do that in other communities. I have. If I'm not restricted to one community. Nobody is. I don't treat YouTube as a business. I treat it as a side thing that I do when I get bored or when I get a new model and feel like, hey, maybe I should make a review and yada, yada, yada. I don't want to feel restricted on that. The one good thing about YouTube is it's uncensored and I can say what I want. 
if it's uncensored, I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to speak how I normally speak. I don't care. I do what I do. It's my YouTube. It's my channel. I'll do what I want with it. And if you don't agree with me, then go ahead and un unsubscribe. It's fine. Because I know who my friends are at the end of the day. I don't. My life doesn't revolve about around how many subscribers I have. It doesn't revolve around how many followers I have on Instagram. I don't do giveaways just to promote my own page. I don't need to. I don't feel it's necessary. It's. I don't think it's necessary for anybody. If you can't be legitimate and honest and work your way through the uh, community that the honest and legitimate way, then you probably shouldn't do it. YouTube isn't a business. Instagram isn't a business. One thing that bothers me is that it seems that all people care about in the heavy equipment photography field anymore is seeing big shit. And what I mean by that is big equipment. It takes the fun out of it, honestly. When you go to take pictures of con local construction equipment at local sites and you send a picture, for instance, in a group chat, and then you have some, you know, say you took a picture of a 320 DL. Someone goes, ha ha, it's small, and then sends a picture of a 385. Come on. That's just a dick move. It really is. People think they're special because they get to see equipment on a big and daily basis. They're not special. They just, I don't really want to say what I want to say on this one. This is the one time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold back, but they're not special. I pride myself in being average. I don't want to be special. I want to be average. I want to be the average guy. I want to, I don't look at myself any higher than anybody else anymore because I don't see the use to. I maybe I used to in the past. I know I did in the past, but that's changed. My outlook on things has changed. No one person is bigger than the entire community as whole as a whole. No one person is. One thing that kind of gets to me is that people, whenever they don't get their way, they feel they have to go off and start their own community when they cannot sit there and take. Um, they whenever someone doesn't get their way. They go off and form their own community. This kind of pisses me off because people can't sit down and take it like a man, per se. So, and usually it revolves around constructive criticism. People take constructive criticism the wrong way. People can't deal with this stuff anymore. It's kind of sad that people... You know, I some things that are done and said should not have been said. But at the same time, though, um, people can't um, take stuff like a man anymore. They can't, you know, when someone offers constructive criticism, they can't just say, okay, thanks, I'll try better next time. No, they go, get all offended, and then they go off and start their own community, and that community falls into oblivion, and then whenever someone else offers constructive criticism another time, then they go off and say they're quitting, they come back a day later, and then they say they're quitting that night, and then they come back three hours later, and they say they're quitting again. Let's face it, seeing children say, oh, well, I'm quitting every three hours is annoying. I've said myself that I was going to quit before, but I don't anymore because I don't see the purpose of quitting. Hell, and I've always said this, I'm not in the community to be popular. Hell, if there was only two people left in the community, I would still do the videos because I enjoy it. I don't feel I need to gain popularity off of it. That's the problem. People think that that um, that, that in order for this community to be some, or that, they feel that in order to be in the community, they have to be popular. You don't have to be popular to be in the community. You just have to be, you just, I don't even know what to say on this one. I'm not going to post stuff on my Instagram about stuff going on in my personal life that's not needed. I don't need to post whenever the flipping weather changes. I don't need to post when I get up. I don't need to post when I go to sleep. I don't need to post when I eat. I don't need to post when I get in my car, when I fuel up my car, or when I sniff flowers, which I've never done before, actually. I don't need to post when my, my fingerprint scanner doesn't recognize my fingerprint. I don't need to do any of that stuff. I post one photo a day, simple as that. I feel people, um, and of course it is their Instagrams and they can do whatever they want. It kind of annoys me though when people post issues with their personal lives in there. It's not, it's not, it shouldn't, 
I'm not even I'm not even gonna continue that thought, but it's just my own personal opinion that personal stuff should stay in your personal life, pretty much. Um I guess that kind of goes with the old uh, argument of separation between church and state almost. It's kind of the same argument, but kind of not, if you get what I'm saying. Um, let's face it. Anymore, the community isn't the greatest. Hell, I'm, I've grown disillusioned with it. I have. And it's gotten to the point of where I'm unhappy. But instead of going off and starting my own community and go pouting in a corner, I'm going to say something about it. I know what the community used to be like. I do. I was there. When they, when people in the past had an issue with somebody, they either said something or they blocked them. It And really, most 98% of the time, they would block them. There, there's a magical block button for a reason. It, and here's some advice. If you have an issue with somebody, you don't need to go make a long-oriented um, rant on Instagram about somebody on how, oh, they conned you out of this and blah, 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 and this person's an asshole and that person's an asshole. The answer is simple. It's not ranting about people on a flipping Instagram post. No, it's pretty much just sitting there and pressing a block button. It's that simple. Now, I want to point this one out. The fact that people are here... And this one is going to be, like, the big one. The fact that people are here just to make money makes me sick. They call themselves model collectors, but they're not model collectors. They're here to make a quick penny off of, pe off of the true collectors. For instance, like, here's an example. You go out and buy, or someone goes out and buys a cat, I don't know, uh, 325 BL for, say, 100 bucks. And then they take and sell it in, or try to sell it an hour later for 150 to 200 bucks. Or I shouldn't even say try to sell it, but try to shove it down someone's throat. Don't you see something wrong with that? If they were a true collector, you know, they'd have it for a little bit and, you know, display it, be proud of it. Cool. Yeah, whatever. And if they wanted to sell it, then, you know, it's their right to. But trying to shove it down someone's throat for double the cost when you just got an hour ago, is it makes me sick. And the fact that people are here just for the money. They don't care about this community. They care about their pocketbook. I care about this community. If you need evidence, first off, I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't care. I, I know someone's going to, you know, take everything I've said the wrong way. And like, oh, he hates this place. I love this place. This community has issues, and I'm pointing out a couple of them that, that I see, and I'm giving my point of view on it. I love this community. I really do. I don't shove my model collection down people's throats because I'm not selling anything. I don't need to. I don't want to. It's my collection. I built it up over time. I guess what I'm trying to say here is that this community does have a lot of issues. But there are redeeming qualities. There obviously are redeeming qualities. Or else I would have been gone a long time ago. Probably. Probably not though. Because I still love this place. Wow, I just realized I contradicted myself from earlier. But whatever. Um, to put it simply... There are issues. There are people that tell them that take things way too deep whenever they go into an argument, like telling kids to kill themselves or, you know, involving families. You sh that's like the two things you should never do. One instance, and I'm going to call this person out on this one, Tommy's diecast. I've seen a lot of fucked up stuff, but this guy, like, I don't know if he, how bad of a charade he does on Instagram, but in private message, this guy's just an absolute fucking monster. Just saying. And I don't care if he gets pissed off at me. He blocked me anyways. I, here's the thing. The problem, and this is a problem that I've been countered recently, is that, you know, I, that I feel that I can't be friends with certain people because other people have beefs with people with that person and I and if I'm friends with them then I myself am going to get attacked for that. 
Don't you see what's wrong with that? I can be friends with whoever I want to be friends with. So can you. So anybody can be friends with who they want to be friends with. It's up to them. It's their choice. And I don't think anybody should let um, other people's arguments get in the way of who you want to be friends with. It's a free community. You can do whatever you want. And hell, if you want to make a rant about me, go ahead. It's your choice, not mine. It's a free community. Do what you please. Really. I'm just giving my... And if you think this is me trying to dictate anything, it's me trying to uh, give my honest and personal opinions of the community as a whole. And to put it simply, this community it is fucked. It really is. There's no way around it. Of course, every community, in one way or another, whether on YouTube, Instagram, or whatever, is fucked. There's always an issue of some sort. They, and I know that things are not going to be perfect. They probably never will be perfect. But I'm just pointing out some things. And this has been building for a long time. Probably since right after DHS. Well, actually, probably even before DHS. Because, to put it simply, I lost faith in the community. But then DHS happened and it sort of restored it. That there are good people out there. That there are... You know, yeah, you get the point. It's just that everybody's so selfish anymore. Every People are in the community just for themselves. They're not here for the community. They're in it for themselves. And that makes me utterly sick. Wake up, people. Wake the frick up. I... I do enjoy what I do. I enjoy taking heavy equipment pictures. It may get a little bit annoying at times when, you know, you go out and drive, say, 20 miles and actually put... M By the way, guys, and this is one thing, I pay for my own gasoline in my car. I don't need my mommy to pay for it. I put my own money in my gasoline. I put my own money in my models. I don't need my mommy to pay for them. When I put my own heart, when I put my own, I can't really say hard earned, but when I put my own money into it and then get utter disrespect, that's what kind of gets, kind of wears on you. I pay for my own models out of my own pocket. I don't need someone else buying them for me. I pay for them myself. And that's where, like, I guess people don't respect, that's why people don't respect their models the most well, some people, because they don't pay for it out of their own pocket. They have someone else buy their models for them. And let me throw this example out there. If your parents bought you a car, chances are you're going to drive more stupidly because you don't actually, because you got the car laid in your lap pretty much. But when you actually go out and buy your own car, you are very careful and you try to avoid getting dents and scratches and stuff in it. You probably wash it once a week and all that sort of stuff. You care for it a lot more if you pay for it out of your own flipping pocket. And I don't want to hear, but you did this to a model, you did that to a model. If you yourself have your parents or whatever buy your models. Because once you start buying your own models, then you know you sort of start to have a new look on things. You know, for instance, and I haven't done this and I'm not going to try it, but if I want to take the cab and stuff off of my TG7000 and somebody comes up to me and goes, oh, but you did this, you ruined the model. Well, uh, sir, <coughs> sir, yeah, right. Um, I bought this model with my own money and you see, I own this model. My parents don't own the model. I own the model. Just because my parents gave it to me for a birthday present doesn't, or wait. Maybe if your parents gave you a model for a birthday present or whatever, then, you know, technically they still bought it with their money and technically it's still kind of theirs-ish, you know, even though they did give it to you, blah, blah, blah. I bought this model with my own money and I can do what I want. Of course, I would probably have a lot more of appreciation towards it, but whatever. Many people are not self-reliant, you know, and here's the thing. If you can't afford a model, don't get it. Seriously, and the problem with America is that they fall too back too. The problem with the world anymore is they fall. Um, they re rely on credit so much anymore. If you can't pay for it, don't buy it. It's simple as that. 
seriously. Models aren't a necessity to live. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. Because you're still going to, you know, buy something that's a little bit more important with your money if you're scratching and saving. Buy food or whatever and cut back on things you don't need. Models aren't a necessity in life. Fuck. Social media, YouTube, Instagram, it's not a necessity in life. If you're really that desperate, then you probably shouldn't be collecting models like that and get every single new, never mind. Again, I'm not calling anybody out on this. I really am not. It just came out weird. But anyways, I guess that's my little ramble on things. I, I mean, if you disagree with me, uh, please tell me. Um, I'd be more than happy to. And if you have a question or a comment or whatever, you know, private message me on Instagram or something. Because I would be more than happy to reply. I don't have an issue with replying. And I, you know, if you want to you know, tear me a new asshole, well, go for it, I don't care, wow, that sounded weird, but you know what I mean, you know, you can try, but honestly, it's my own personal opinion, wow, that sounded weird, but anyways, guys, that's really it, that's my opinion on things, um, my whole honest opinion, things are fucked, but it can get better, it really can, but I just pointed out a few things that bother me personally. Now, what bothers you? I'm curious to know. Comment below. Or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, have a good one. I sincerely do. And peace.